Chiron and Gemini. Chiron is your wounded healer, a.k.a. where you're going to find wounds at in your life. And these things are going to develop as hardship if you don't work on your inner self, a.k.a. do the internal work. And, of course, destroy all the shit that's basically affecting you in some way, shape, or form. Because, <laughs> of course, we all got asteroids and shit. Many asteroids, many hurts, many wounds, many stitches and shit that we can patch up. So, of course, these things are left open. These things are left exposed and vulnerable. So, of course, you got other entities, other deities that's ready to basically go in here. And, of course, plant their seeds in here and make things worse. It can't matter. You need to take responsibility when you need it to. Also, when you got Chiron and Gemini, this is going to be a circumstance situation where you're going to feel trauma and control when it comes to the way you think, communicate, and analyze. And, of course, your way of speaking may stutter a lot. You may not get across your point a lot. You may come across as may not know everything at all. And these things are like experiences that you may go through. And of course, these things may affect you. But of course, you need to focus on where your houses are. You need to focus on where your planets, planets are. And of course, you need to focus on where you need to work with your squares, yeah, your um, oppositions. And your tri your triangles and your um your sextiles. <coughs> also, check where you got um where you got Pluto at. So Pluto is gonna basically bring the power and control and changes that. So if you got Pluto in your in your chart, you need to find out where you got Pluto at. So you need to take power and control over certain areas in your life to basically help you and of course you need to work on yourself. You do a ton of work. Of course, believe in yourself. Trust the process. We all we all deal with Chiron. Some Chirons be heavy on people. Some Chirons be light on people. So now, if you can focus on what makes you feel happy and makes you feel better, and of course, get you a pen and paper, and whatever's affecting you, write it on paper. And of course, have it on your heart and your mind and your soul that whatever you're writing on paper will leave your space. And of course, you'll be open to create new ex internal room for you to basically capulate and of course captivate on where you need to work on to basically better reinforce and reimpose on how you feel on expressing your wisdom and knowledge and of course true meanings and reasons and of course don't doubt yourself don't do that just find the courage and the power and the strength and the energy to basically overcome these experiences that you're basically dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis some people got it hard also check the house where you got kind of on the, um check out where you got your car on at in your house, most importantly. That's where it's going to actually play out. I forgot about that. But you have, wherever you have Chiron in your house, check where that's at. And wherever your house is at, that's where you need to subconsciously penetrate. And of course, have sex with that area. AKA, use your mind and your feelings and emotions to heal that area. Make sure your mind is clear. And do the internal work from there. And of course, you're eradicating, of course, clear out all that Chiron and Gemini frequency vibrations and energies of bacteria. And you'll be alright with the criteria that you're about to newly insert into your life. And of course, it's very important to basically work on yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. Because of course, when you're working on yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll start to receive. You'll start to be open and enlightened to your own perspective on how you can basically build these substances that don't belong in your space. 